Well, IT made us new information tonight on a police standoff in Zinesville. The parents of the suspect told police their son was being controlled by a neurotransmitter. My teammates Richard Essex brought you this breaking story earlier this month and has the update. According to court documents, Nicholas Schuler's father told police that he and his wife were tired of people having their son under control and that someone had planted a neurotransmitter in his son and had been controlling him for over the past year. The father said that he had a device that could detect these devices and it was alerted when he scanned his son's head. Boone County Sheriff Captain Jason Reynolds was part of the negotiation team that spoke with Schuler's parents. I personally had conversations with them, um, letting them know that I'm going to do everything I can to get your son out in a safe manner. Uh, and the father, you know, tells me that. And, you know, I'm like, OK, um, I hear you. But what does that do for us right now? Schuler had pointed a gun at a newspaper delivery driver who called police. He was in the middle of an emotional crisis over the death of a girlfriend. When Zinesville police arrived, Shula refused to leave the house, and his parents told police that there were firearms in the home. Shula refused to talk to police on the phone, so they sent in a robotic drone. Shula grabbed it and put it into a refrigerator. Then police sent in another drone, which he grabbed and threw back out the window. And really, the drone, even before he really put it out the window, uh, one, it's confirmation that he is still alive, right? And he's still, we're still trying to communicate with him. It gave police an idea of which room he was in. Police fired several rounds of a tear gas type grenade into the house. The gas from the grenade moved in from one room to the next. Eventually, three police officers entered the home and Schuler pointed a gun at them. A Whitestown cop attempted to fire his rifle, but the gun jammed. Schuler went into another room, put down his gun, and after a brief struggle, he surrendered a few minutes later. Schuler has been in and out of the Boone County Jail a couple of times. Captain Reynolds hopes that this incident will be their last encounter with him. I want him to get the help that he needs. And I think, you know, having that resolution that day kind of, you know, that helped. Um, so maybe we can. Because um, I do. I don't I don't I don't want to, you know, see anything else happen. I have reached out to Schuler's family and they have not returned my phone calls. Schuler is due back in court in mid-May. In Indianapolis, Richard Essex, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.